He's on public channel. So here this morning at the Memphis Zoo. I haven't done this before so uh, let's give this a go. I think this place is regarded as one of the best zoos in the country now and uh, oh, yeah. yeah its origins were here in Overton Park when um, a bear called Natch, a bear cub, he was uh, donated to the local baseball team here but they uh, couldn't keep it and they tied it to a tree here in Overton Park and people came in to see it and feed it and basically with uh, the efforts of uh, the local community more and more animals were brought here and that was the origins of the zoo and it just built and built from there and of course uh, it is what it did, built to what it is today. So this is the so then Plaza to the zoo, all Egyptian style. Uh, I guess in keeping with Memphis, of course, being the ancient Egyptian city. Oh, it's a splash pool for kids. Oh, cool. Who are these people? Carol and Jim Prentice, commissioned in honour of their extraordinary dedication and love for the Memphis Zoo. Their leadership and generosity are unparalleled. Their legacy will be remembered for generations. First ones of the day, lions. Oh, hello, beautiful. Well, hello, gorgeous. Hello. Oh, hot. Oh, he's over there. He's over there, chilling. Chilling. The commercial Appeal, Cat Country. So the Commercial Appeal is the local Memphis newspaper. So I assume they uh, sponsor this bit. <laughs> uh, oh, they want to, he wants a piggyback, he does. Yeah, yeah she's no, she's having none of that. No, it's too hot, he says. Similar to um, the Maharaja jungle trek, a little bit by there, isn't it? There's the red panda, little is known of these dwellers of the remote high altitude bamboo forests of the Himalayas. It just looks like a... Hello! It looked first of all like there was no fence Hello. there. Got, uh, Hello! Oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, he's been he's been playing uh, bowls. <laughs> yeah. He knocked one skittle down. Right, right, he's rubbish. Capybara. Capybara. What are they after? Yeah. Seem to be heading this way with a bit of purpose then. Hello, gorgeous. Oof. Oh yeah, that's so bad. Oh, she's hot. Yeah. Oh, they got things for the kids here. Pumpkin decorating. Face painting. Easy, easy. Yeah, they couldn't. Easy, amazing. Tennessee tractor. So with that. Oh, Just for picture opportunity. Ah, uh, penguins. You like penguins? Penguins. Well, not penguins in peril, obviously, but uh, a few craft uh, 
few craft stalls set up here. Kitty right there, golly dip. Little toy cat. Oh, there's a few. Uh... Sorry? Yeah, we don't need to go back around up there. It's got a carousel. Yeah. This is boats up there, so uh, I do Little, Yeah, so it's uh, like a children's corner. It's the farm train, yeah. Native to Asia first reported in the Everglades of 2000, now a common sight in South Florida and we can havoc on the native fauna, which either out compete for food or prey on directly. <laughs> There's a big one, yeah, he's shedding skin there. It's a Komodo dragon. Yeah. Yeah, they're quite vicious as well, aren't yeah. they? Was it? Yeah, that would be an anaconda on the floor behind you. Yeah. Amazing, but disgusting. Poor little ones. Yeah. yeah. Just his tail left. Just the tail left. Do they eat the tail? Yeah, they'll eat it all. They're all good. Yeah. Slender snout crocodile. Mm. American alligator. 15 feet in length. Ugh. He's quite chilled over there, isn't he? Oh, it's a rare Mang Shan Mountain Viper. Oh, really? Very few are in zoos and breeding is rarely achieved and it's only been known to science since 1989. They say the kids killed adult elephants. That's how venomous they are. Cottonmouth. They do not attack people. A bite is very dangerous. But it's true that they only bite in self-defense. It's a rat rattlesnake, that one. Yeah. That's exciting, yes. Yeah, it's a nice little setup in here. Chilin, ruler of the West, bringing good luck, wise and gentle. Uh. 
Store, so as you can imagine, it's everything panda. Yes. Or red panda as well. Oh, a few Chinese dragons as well. How cute is that? Yeah. That's pretty. How many uh, how many of them you sold? Snow globes and mugs. Uh, $130 this guy then uh, carousel we're gonna ride the panda mm. not many takers on that this morning though so we're in the African veldt next this is probably gonna be quite hot and open Oh, there's five of them in there, is there? Yeah. Can't tell. Uh, I don't know which is which. Big pond. Oh, I did see another outside. Well, unless it's gone inside now by the side there. Yeah. So we can go five dollars per person. We can have a little uh, ride on the paddock on the camel. I can't, uh, can't say it's something I've ever wanted to do is when the camel. It's the Northwest Passage. Chief Seattle Memorial Guard. Born near Puget Sound around 1790, Chief Seattle lived in a time of great tumult for his people. As a boy, he saw the arrival of Anglo American traders who brought steel tools, firearms, and disease to the First Nations. Yet he liked and admired the traders. West. Walking chairs or chairs, uh, hopefully there's something to see. Oh, so yeah, it's like uh, one of those tree walk things where you walk around. Well, the waterfall looks nice, but um, I can't see anything. Where? <gasps> yes, it is. Didn't see him. Black bear. This is Zambezi. 
It's a Josephine, isn't it? So it's a she. And all the fish are cleaning them. 